All right, so here I have a system of two blocks that's being pulled up with a constant 100 newtons, so force equals 100, and I want to know what is the tension between the two. Um, and the extra question is to find the acceleration of the system, but guess what? You're going to have to find the acceleration to find the tension anyway, um, so that will just be part of it, all right? So tension is a force, and to find a force, I have to use F equals MA. Now, tension is touching the 3 and the 4, so I can write F equals MA for either one. What you're going to find out is, no matter which block you start with, you're going to actually have to f write F equals MA for both uh, blocks to be able to solve this. So that's sort of the, the long way here is to find acceleration first, is to write F equals MA for each one of these. The short way would be for me to do this and say, you know what, this 100 is really pulling on 7. And that allows me to quickly find what the acceleration is. All right? Now, for the purpose of this, of this problem, I want to solve it the long way without doing this. Okay? But you could have done this to find the acceleration. So more, more standard way here. So um, it doesn't matter which way I start. I like to usually start with the simplest object, the one at the end. So I'm going to start with the 4. Sum of all forces on the 4 equals mass of the 4, A. If you were to draw a free body diagram for the 4, 4 has mg pulling it down, and it has a tension pulling it up. And this mg here is 9, uh, 9.8 times 4, so it is 39.2. So if I were to go here, I would write, this becomes, there's two forces, so positive tension minus the mg, which is 39.2, equals the mass of the 4, which is just 4, that's why we call it 4, and a. So if you look at this equation, there's nothing else I can do here. Um, I have two unknowns. Tension is what I want to find in the end, but I need to know A first. So I'm stuck, which means that I'm going to have to write um, F equals MA for a second object over here. So the 3, the 3 is a little bit more complicated. The 3 is being pulled up by a force of 100. It gets pulled down by its MG, which is... 29.4, that's just 3 times 9.8, and it gets pulled down by a tension. And notice that this tension here is the same as this tension because they're both just this cable right here. All right, so now I can write F equals MA for this guy. So sum of all forces in the 3 is the mass of the 3 times the acceleration. I can list them positive F um, minus T. Um, or plus negative t plus negative mg equals the mass is 3 and a. And I can plug in these numbers. This is 100 minus t minus mg here is 20. I'm sorry, the mg for, yeah, it's 29 point, I'm doing the 3, yeah, 29.4, almost got stuck there. And if you combine this, you get that this is 70.6. 70.6 minus T equals 3A. I'm stuck here. This equation can't be solved by itself, just like how this equation couldn't be solved by itself. But I can combine them. I can stack, an, stack them up and add them. Okay, so I'm going to do this. And I have T minus 39.2 equals 4A. Um, and then if I add these equations, I get... You add everything on the left, so the T's cancel, and I have 70 minus 39.2, which is 31.4, and on the right side, I have 7A. So A is 31.4 divided by 7, which is rounds out to 4.49 meters per second squared. This was actually the extra question, right? Which you have to get to to be able to find the T. Now, how do I find T? I can plug this A into either this equation or this equation. Either one of these two, they're here stacked up. So pick one. I'm going to go with the second one just because T is already positive here. So T minus 39.2 equals 4A. So T equals 4 times A, which is 4.49, plus the 39.2. And if you do all this, you get that it is 57.2 newtons, all right? So that is your T, and 
we're done. Hopefully you got it.